is absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. See so many whales beached like this. I've sort of thing I've seen on the news before, but never actually seen it. Yeah, it's really sad, I think, to see it. With these types of strandings, the, the chances of re-stranding is high. Those animals have been um, in an in exacerbated state for several hours, so uh, quite weak. And for them to be able to get outside off the offshore reefs is, um, you know, a big ask in itself. Songs 82 verse 5 They know not Neither will they understand They walk on in darkness All the foundations Of the earth are out of course First and foremost I want to give all praises Honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Waha, Raka, Kodash, Which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, His Son And the Holy Spirit Who the world equally calls God Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the elders of all Yasha Allah, the men that taught me this truth through spirit, and peace and blessings to the Israelites that scattered throughout all nations that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And suffering from the name of the Lord's sake, the confusion of faces, and the believers and followers of Yahweh Yahweh peace be unto you. Now, as you can see in this video, over 150 whales died after man's standing. Now, why is this going on? Because the earth is polluted. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And when the wicked are in rulership, they're going to dictate and govern the earth in wickedness. This is Job chapter 9 verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof, and not where and who is he? So the scriptures tell us that the earth is into the hands of the wicked. Now, a process of elimination, because contrary to popular belief, they'll make you think they, meaning the elites of the society, the, the higher-ups, the wealthy class, the rich class, which is the international bankers, the so-called illuminated ones, the Illuminati. They'll make you believe that the world collectively is ruled by all nations. But there's only one people on the planet Earth that is superior to all other nations. And that's through their wickedness is the so-called Caucasian race, which their biblical identity is known as Esau Edom, the Edomites, which they try to run from and try to, uh, they dispose so much money to try to wipe away and do away with the Edomite history. But the Bible clearly tell us who the wicked is. All right. Now, Going into this video because this video vexated me. You know, it pisses me off to see, you know, the natural creatures. They killing themselves because the waters are defiled. The air is defiled. The waters are defiled. The land is defiled. Because the wicked is in rulership. They're polluting the waters with fracking, with GMO. Uh, 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 they over they they don't know what to do with their trash and waste, so they just dump it into the waters. All right, you got uh a damn uh garbage wasteland that's damn near the size of Texas, just floating in the sea, and you can Google it, you can YouTube it, you can look it up. The so-called white man dumps his trash, his pollution, into the waters. And because of that, 
The animals are killing themselves because they can't breathe. They can't su survive and sustain themselves in their natural habitat. Because guess what? Let's see what the Bible says. Isaiah chapter 24 verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. And part of the earth mourning is, as you can see, the animals killing themselves. Why is a creature of the sea throwing itself on land? Because it's getting sick. It can't survive in its natural habitat. So part of the earth mourning is the creations on the earth dying. All right. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Going back to the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Be you so-called Caucasian people. You like to call yourself white, but you're really not. You're translucent. Your blood shows forth through your skin. That's why you was given the name Esau, meaning wasted away as he, Ashashua. And then later on, your name was changed to Edom, which means red, because you are the red people of the planet Earth, not white. So it says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the law. You transgress the laws of the Most High. Okay. You don't, you're not, uh, uh, you don't abide by the words as it is written and thus saith the Lord. You abide by your penal codes. You abide by sorcery and witchcraft, such as do as thou wilt, freedom of religion, and so on and so forth, which is all things that's detestable in the sight of the Most High. The Most High who the word eagerly calls God, which his true name is Yahweh, set up a blueprint or law, statutes, and commandments on how to treat the earth, how to treat the waters, how to treat animals, how to treat life. But this so-called white man, that's why he is known as the devil, okay, the great deceiver, Satan, the great Satan, and the destroyer. Because he is totally opposed to life. So reading on, the earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broke the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burnt, and few men are left. Because at the end of the day, who who you eagerly call God in Jesus Christ is going to cleanse the earth of your wickedness, of all your dirty fingerprints that you laid across the beautiful planet Eden, planet Earth. Okay? Because you defiled the entire planet, man. The air that animals and creations have to breathe, and humans have to bleed, breathe. The waters that animals and humans have to drink and live in. You defiled it all. So guess what? The Most High is going to make you desolate. Just like he destroyed the earth before with a great flood. He's going to do it this time through a great fire. Now let's get that. Real fast and then we're going to wrap it up. Second Peter 3 and 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, meaning the world prior to Noah, all right? The world that Noah was living in during the time of Noah, it perished by water. Because guess what? The people was living ungodly. The people was living damn near the same way that the people are living today. But guess what? You people are even worse than the people back then because you have transgenders. You have uh, 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 lesbians and uh, pe men that chop off their penises and women that sew penises onto them. 
You make it seem like men can get pregnant. Men can produce uh, breast milk. You make it robots to have sex with. You, 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 you are outdoing all the wicked ancient societies of old. So it says, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, meaning the rulerships, okay? Because the scriptures tell us that the earth abides forever. Let's just get that real fast to prove that. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4. One generation passes away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So the planet earth is going to abide forever. All right. The Most High, he didn't uh, create the earth to be destroyed. Okay. And he's not going to destroy the earth. Contrary to popular belief, what Hollywood pushes that the earth is going to be destroyed. No. The rulers that govern and dictate on the planet earth is going to be destroyed. And this is the scripture. But the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved onto fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. So just like the world of old was destroyed by water because the perdition of ungodly men, the new world, new heavens, the new earth is going to be destroyed by fire, which is that thermonuclear fire. All right. The world of today is going to be destroyed by fire because men are living ungodly. And guess what? They're destroying the earth and making animals kill themselves. Animals are committing suicide. It's unheard of. It's totally against an animal's instinct, a creation's instinct, to kill themselves. But these animals want to kill themselves because they can't survive in their natural habitat. All right? Last scripture. Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. I'm going to just get the point. And it says, And thou shouldest give, uh, forgive me, it says, small and great, and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. So the same people that's polluting the waters, polluting the air, polluting the food, polluting the animals, polluting nature, polluting life. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to destroy them. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the scriptures. And with that, until next time, I say peace. Shalom.